In this video, we'll learn how to create dynamic transient analysis. Let's begin by opening a SimSolid project. Dynamic analysis in SimSolid uses mode superposition method. So it requires model analysis with results. This project has model analysis that's already solved for us. To know how to create model analysis, please visit model analysis tutorial. Now let's see how to create a dynamic transient analysis. Click on transient. A prompt is shown for the setup. This transient analysis is automatically linked to model one. If there are multiple model analysis in this design study, all of them will be listed here. User have to choose the model analysis and click on link to model option to link it to the transient analysis. Next is to define the time span. We'll set the time span to 0.5 seconds. And define damping. Click on model damping. And uh, set the damping ratio to 0 0.03 for all the frequencies. And hit OK to complete the setup. The next step is to define the time function. Click on time function. SimSolid has a set of standard time functions available. You can also import the time function as a CSV file or manually define the time function by adding the rows. Here we are going to use one of the standard time functions. Click on standard and choose the function type to harmonic. Set the frequency to 20. and hit OK. The time function is plotted here. Click OK to complete the definition. The next step is to apply the load. We'll apply a base excitation load. Transient analysis supports displacement and acceleration base excitation loads. Here we are going to apply an acceleration base excitation. Set the amplitude to 10 and choose the direction as Z direction. And click OK. The setup is complete. Click on Solve to run the transient analysis. The results are posted. Let's plot displacement magnitude. Displacement is now calculated for all the time steps here as shown in the status bar. The contour is plotted. Play the animation to view the transient response.